Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, having a little fun doing what we're doing. We'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. Give everybody a chance to do it here right at the beginning. Get ready to smash that thumb. Here we go. Three, two, one. Smash it. And don't forget to check out uh, our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And if you Aren't in the habit yet of catching Scott and I's daily show, Winners and Winers Radio. We do it every day, Monday through Friday. Make sure that you check that out. You can, of course, you can do the video here. If you want to be uh, get first in line, get our early takes, uh, you can download it on your favorite podcast platform, including Spotify, Google Play, and Anchor. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing. Give us those plays. Put them in the comment section, whatever they are. We don't care what sport it is. If you got an angle, you got a winner. Put them in there. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. All right, guys, quick recap of yesterday's action. Not good at all as, uh, holy mackerel, um, <laughs> Sammy Hinches, he was a monster, guys. He actually pitched pitched very well, and uh, he went to, he went four innings. Three hits, you know, about what we figured he gave he gave up a run. Very nice, very nice performance. The bullpen absolutely shut him down. We knew we were gonna have to do damage against Hentges, and we didn't. Meanwhile, Berea, we got to see Bad Jaime today. He's one of these guys. We talked about it. He's up and down. He'd been up lately. We thought we could ride him one more day. Couldn't happen. Goes just two innings, gives up five earned. Eesh. Not good at all, Jaime. So, with that being said, we're going to move on with today's action. And we're going to take a look in the NFL preseason, guys, as we take a look at the Baltimore Ravens and the Carolina Panthers. Now, you know, we've lost a couple straight here, and it would have been nothing easier in the world just to say, you know what, we're going to take the Baltimore Ravens. And why? Well, because they own one of the most ridiculous preseason streaks of all time. Harbaugh and the Ravens, well, folks, they haven't lost a preseason game since Obama was president. That's correct. They haven't lost one since 2016. 18 straight wins for uh, the Birds, but they have big problems in this one. Guys, I was that close to fading this streak, but I don't quite have the big brass ones to do that. Um, but they've got some problems as far as the skill position goes. If Jackson goes, it's not going to be for long. To, Ky uh, to Tyler Huntley and Kenji Bahar. Uh, Trace McSorley, who was actually the hero of last year's Wednesday COVID game when uh, just about everybody was injured or on the COVID list for Baltimore, uh, he's out with a bad back. Um, sure, you might have heard of uh, Kyler Huntley out of, out of Utah. He has 10 rushes in the NFL, but no passes. They just kind of use him as a, a change of pace guy there. Now, Kenji Bahar. Not going to lie. Might even be mispronouncing his name. Could be Behar. Don't know. Uh, I had to look him up. I, I know a lot, a lot of NFL players. Wasn't hip to him. He's a rookie from where? That's right. Monmouth College, everybody. Oh, uh, yeehaw. Now, as far as the running game goes, we're not going to see much of Dobbins or Edwards. Their first rounder, Rashawn Bateman, is out, as is Hollywood Brown and Miles Boykin. Uh, Sammy Watkins is healthy, but are they really going to uh, give much preseason action to the guy who seemed to pull a hammy every time there was a strong breeze in Kansas City? My guess is yet, probably not. Now, they're also dealing with injuries on the offensive line. So again, not a lot of health there on the side of the Baltimore Ravens. Now, they are a little more healthy on defense. As far as the Panthers go, they're going to start Sam Darnold, which I guess passes for good news in Carolina these days, given uh, probably the only time he's going to see action this preseason. He's going to give way to XFL star P.J. Walker and then Will Greer. Uh, neither one of these guys looked awful in the opener, and uh, nice change of pace, uh, guys, from, um, from Sam Darnold. But I just don't see many home runs in this game, and I don't see many sustained drives either. With one side, not much offense. The other side with a uh, hell of a defense. Only one way to go here, guys, and that is the under 35 and a half. So at the end of this one, we're going to take the Baltimore Ravens, Carolina Panthers, under 35 and a half. That close to taking Carolina plus three. So I know there's be out there somebody that does it. So God, Godspeed. God, Godspeed, young better. 
Uh, we're going to take the Ravens of Carolina under 35 and a half. The end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. Uh, by the way, we did uh, sweep everything else that wasn't our play of the day. We went to 2-0 and on the premium side as we had uh, Atlanta on the uh, run line. And we also had the Colorado Rockies on the run line there. So 2-0 uh, on the premium side. Scott and I on our uh, Bet the Farm play, we had the Kansas City Chiefs to cover, and they did just that. So 3-1 uh, and one overall. Let's see how you guys did, uh, shall we? Thomas Bowe going to 1-0, plus 300. He had the Braves on the alternative line, uh, on an alternative run line, minus 2.5. I also had that play. That was minus 120. That was good, good money right there. Not We didn't win it by as much as I thought we would, but we did win it. Uh, the Butcher had a nice day, kind of a, a roller coaster uh, day on the PGA, but he goes 1-0, plus 500. He had Munoz, plus a half over Ricky Hatton. Uh, Jan Dudley goes 1-0, plus 500. Had those New York Yankees first five. Mikey Butler, good to see Mikey back. He went 1-1. One one. He got juiced. Sean O'Reilly goes 1-0, plus 500. He had the earthquake from San Jose. Team total over a half. R. Rivera, very nice day for Mr. Rivera. 5-0, and oh, plus 500. Nicely done, sir. What just happened? Goes 1-1. One and one. He got juiced. Casino going 5-0, and oh, plus 500. A man after Scott Reichel's heart as all five were tennis plays. Nicely done, Casino. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you got an angle, put them in there. Cash that ticket. Uh, Benito Quevedo goes one and one. He got juiced. Brandon Zerfus goes one and one, plus 90. Memon Fernandberg goes one and one, plus 300. And Ninja 13 goes one and oh, plus 500. Had the New York Yankees on the run line. But... Your capper of the day, it's Nathan Cerna, everybody, playing a three-team run-line parlay in the major leagues, going 1-0. and Can I interest you in plus 25, or excuse me, 24-45. Nicely done, Nathan, indeed. So Nathan Cerna, 1-0, and plus 24-45. You are the capper of the day. Well done, and well done to the rest of you. Way to set up that weekend, get yourself a little operating capital for those Saturday and Sunday games. All right, so let's go out there, keep it rolling, make a little money, have a little fun, and uh, wish you guys nothing but the best on all of your plays today. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money when you head back to the window. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.